So my name is Hazan Matar and I'm a senior research fellow at the University of Hertfordshire. I work within the toxicology research group and I'm specifically a dermal toxicologist. So I specialize in assessing how skin is exposed to toxic chemicals, whether that's from the environment or deliberate exposures. So I've always been interested in science from a young age. I was always interested in chemistry and biology. So I ended up studying pharmacology, moving into then a master's in toxicology and doing a PhD evaluating skin exposures and decontamination to chemical warfare agents. For me, I think the most exciting aspect of my work is trying to model real-world exposures, so bringing together what happens in a realistic environment, trying to model that into an in vitro system so we can actually try and design an experiment to replicate how somebody's exposed to chemicals, whether that's being exposed to pharmaceutical chemicals, whether it's uh, pharma spraying pesticides, all the way to uh, counter-terror related experiments whereby we're looking at assessing decontamination procedures or how someone's exposed to chemicals. The most surprising aspects of the work that we get involved with is working on projects whereby we're evaluating chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear exposures and evaluating the efficacy of PPE. And for me, I think one of the most surprising aspects of my career to date is I would have never thought I would have ever contributed towards the US federal guidance on how emergency responders should respond to a chemical incident. So for that particular project, we ended up designing a novel in vitro skin diffusion cell whereby we tried to model the optimal response of what's perceived best practice and try and, and assess and evaluate whether that actually works or not within a laboratory setting and then extrapolate that using human volunteers. We did a lot of human volunteer exercises to essentially see does this procedure actually work and is it safe to use. It basically could increase the throughput of casualties by over 50%. It also allows us to evaluate and optimize, okay, if you're going through an enclosed tent, for example, the aerosol buildup or the vapor buildup might exceed certain limits, which then might pose a, a risk or a hazard to people. So we're evaluating the whole system to see how effective the whole procedure actually is, and if it's safe to use. The future of toxicology is, 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 is growing. There's a real requirement for, for young toxicologists out there because there's always new products coming out the market and obviously there's a lot of restrictions being imposed by regulators, which means we need more innovation, which then drives uh, toxicology to some extent. So that's what allows us to, to keep moving forward and establishing new techniques. Mm -hmm.